Hey guys, today we're talking about the third core web vital. All you need to know is what it is, what are the issues with it, and how you can fix them. Let's jump in. When it comes to understanding what layout shift is, there is no better way than guys to show it. Now picture this, you are doing online shopping and obviously you're adding lots of stuff into your cart. And later when you want to order just one or two things out of that list, you may hit one button but end up hitting another one and order everything there is in your bag. So guys, simply put, Cumulative Layout Shift or CLS is an important user-centric metric that measures the visual stability of your website and all the unexpected shifts of web elements when a visitor is on your web page. If you want to check out the other two metrics, I'll put links in the description for you. Now guys, your second question should be what causes the layout shift? This unwanted behavior happens when the content loads at different speeds and the elements change because, as you have may noticed, it's common for websites to insert dynamic content and as a result sometimes hidden content appears after a visitor clicks on the section he wanted to. Another thing is that will make elements shift are images, animations and videos with no dimension. One more common cause could be ads that load slowly and mess up all the user experience. And here's guys why measuring cumulative layout shift is so important. It's a crucial metric for Google as it cares about user experience a lot. And if your website fails this metric, it's already a bad indicator for Google and your site may not rank high in SERPs. Visitors nowadays have high expectations when it comes to your website performance and they wait for even the slightest problem to ditch your website and go with a competitor. We now guys come to this question. What is a good CLS? An ideal CLS score would be 0.1 or less. Anything higher than that is going to lead to a poor score. So guys, keep these numbers in mind. Cool guys, now that you know this one as well, let's see how you can measure the cumulative layout shift. There are a couple of cool tools you can go with like DevTools in Google Chrome, Webpage Test, GT Metrics, and PageSpeed Insights. My personal favorite is PageSpeed Insights and here's how you can run a test there. Simply go to their website, type in the website name you want to test and here you can see the cumulative layout shift. As you can see, Amazon doesn't have any problem with this metric and doesn't fail any of the core web vitals but still has a problem with the page speed overall. This score would easily become a beautiful green 90 plus with just one click at 10 web. 10 web makes any website instantly rock it fast, so if you guys want to test the platform yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Now guys, we're moving to the last question, which is how to improve the CLS. First, consider optimizing your content like images and videos so that they load faster. Then, always include size attributes on your images or video elements or otherwise reserve the required space with something like CSS ratio boxes. This allows the browser to figure out the correct amount of space in the document while your image is still loading. The styles necessary for the minimal correct rendering of the above default content guides should be always loaded early. They should not be loaded asynchronously. Make sure critical CSS optimization is enabled and works correctly. You can guys actually use the same approach for the ads as well. You can reserve space for the ads, preferably the largest size, or you can move ads to the bottom or out of the viewport and use placeholders whenever there is no ad to show. One more thing guys to keep in mind is never insert content above existing content except in response to user interaction. These are guys our main tips to make your CLS score better. If you have any other questions related to it, feel free to leave them in the comments and our experts will address them as up. Like this video guys if it was helpful, share it with a friend who would find it helpful as well. Take care guys and I'll see you next time.